Greetings on Chappers. And I'm the captain. We're at Fender. We are surrounded by some beautiful new guitars for the uh, 2016 NAMM show. We're going to start right here with the brand new American Elite Series, the ultimate combination of innovation materials and the most discriminating player. Anyone would think you'd read that off of a sticker Not on the front of the guitar. Not even slightly, Lee. So, uh, American Elite is already uh, in the shops and is taking over from the very popular American Deluxe Series uh, that came out in 2010. Newly worked pickups that are apparently twice as efficient as the previous ones. I read an article. Noise. Yeah, I read an article. So the, the, the holy grail of noiseless pickups is to make a pickup that sounds like a 50s style vintage pickup but makes no hum. Uh, and uh, Fender have gone to great length to try and do this. There's all new magnets, all new ways they wind it. Uh, and they reckon that it's the closest ever. We'll do a more in-depth review of this when we get back home, but, you know, let's just assume it is. Take a finger, wad it onto that, oh. wad it on, and it feels beautiful because this is nice and rubberized, but it doesn't look like it is, so it maintains that classic Fender look whilst having an awesome grip on the little finger if you're feeding a miniature pony. Flip it on the back! Flip it on the back! So, probably the biggest change uh, to the way these guitars are made is in the neck. So, for many, many years now, manufacturers do what we call a compound radius fretboard, but imagine doing the same thing to the back of the neck so we go from a classic C shape down here and as we get further up the neck it deifies it goes more D shaped so because everybody the, wants the D when they get down the double D. to the bottom so um, we've got a, a fretboard that's going from more contoured to flatter this side and, a, and the neck itself going from more C shape to D shape they're show, basically show doing, the heel. they're doing everything they can to make it easier for the player to feel more at home on a guitar this has had some wood cut away this year to give you a bit more of a, a recessed kind of heel joint Looks like it comes with uh, strap locks as well. They've all got the little Shala strap buttons. Or well, the Fender go, strap locks even. Do they have Fender strap locks? Probably do. They have moved the truss rod adjustment. So many, many guitar players prefer to have the truss rod adjustment uh, more accessible than it is when it's at the top. Um, I believe what that means is that the truss rod now is, is a single action truss rod. Uh, although don't quote me on that. It's got a really, really highly polished headstock. And then it, you see the polish goes stop and it, now it's suddenly beautifully matte yeah. and wooden. Very small change to the machine heads, so they're all the sort of the low post style machine heads. And this... The string tree is an ergonomically designed string tree. What I think that means is it's all you're, smooth you're not going to cut yourself if you if you knock somebody with it, which uh, does happen occasionally. What, what you can hear in the background are our erstwhile colleagues, uh, Mick and Pete, doing a um, That's the first time guitar. the word erstwhile has ever been used in an Amazon's review. Yeah. I'm so, really proud uh, of you. If, if you like the sounds you can hear coming from the back, go and watch another video this on This is our, our sounds. channel. Ah! So let's just walk along here and have a look at some of the features and we might see if one of the guys will let us plug one of these in. So you're seeing some beautiful colours. Uh, all the colours are available in either a rosewood or a maple neck. Love this blue bust. Um, yeah, check out the colours. Sick. Beautiful kind of orange, blue sunset. Uh, Can I say that sunburst, I really like the white. name American Elite? I think that's really cool. Elite, they're elitist. Elite. So HSS models. Uh, oh, we should mention, of course, S1 switching on all these. Now, S1 is, hasn't changed, so that is exactly the same sort of new uh, additional combinations of pickups as the old series. On the HSS, though, uh, it was interesting to see they've actually removed the uh, roller nut that was on the previous uh, huh. range and gone back to just the traditional nut. Um, I'm kind of guessing that because with the locking machine heads, there's so little movement over the strings, it's done unnecessary to have the roller nut. Well, it's kind of locked to the, 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 and the you know, each individual tuner. And I forget what Fender call this, but the blow switch, as we like to refer to it, so whatever setting you're on with S1, anything like that. It gives like you that, everything. You go there and it's like straight to the back, maximum everything. Ah! Boom. Um, so let's just admire some nice, take a minute to just admire some nice colours as we move towards the Telecasters. Thin line. Mm. So, two versions of the Telecaster, a thin line version and a solid version. They even managed to make the word noiseless look really, really cool on the pickup. You see that? I've got to say, this bridge on the thin line looks super killer cool. It's a bit of an innovation. Could you explain it? I could explain it. For some reason, what they decided to do, well actually I can tell you the reason, this is in order to give maximum contact from the bridge to the body of the guitar to allow frequencies from the strings to travel unhindered through to the body of the guitar. Basically the bridge is only held in place by the tension from the strings. There's a kind of lip situation. Imagine this is your bridge. It hooks under part of the body and then it's yeah, held like in this, it's, it's like, like that. This? It's what it could be that way too. So basically it's held in place by the tension of the strings. That's so naughty. And 
not being screwed down because if you screw it down, the various screws are the tent the touch yeah. points. Yeah. They want all contact, not semi-contact. Yeah. <laughs> um, beautiful binding. You've got the um, the locking machine head still, the uh, truss rod adjustment at the bottom here. Um, this has a brass truss rod adjustment, which of course changes all the time. All the time has changed. Um, Entirely. Uh, but in the, in the, uh, the semi-solid one, it's a little bit lighter than um, you know the, 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 the old solid one. It looks stunning with the, with the outline. What did they say these bridges were called? Uh, they were called something. It was a special term that was really a interesting. Special term that was really interesting. That's what it was. A special bridge. That's what it was called. I um, thought it was clever. So we it's have S1, button, S1, S1 as well on here. Tell you thing. So some beautiful colours again: sunburst, the metallic blue, uh, the all-natural, and then of course we're into the solid-bodied Telecasters, which uh, have a traditional bridge. Oh, not not, not traditional, but the same sort of bridge system as on the previous model. Stunning. The black Fab binding. colours. Yeah, like classic butterscotch look. Have I, you ever I, seen I, the I really butterscotch like the black binding before? Uh, yes, but it's not that common. I re personally, I really like the black one with the white binding. Yeah, that's pretty classic. I would, I would, I would, I would do that. You would do that. Mm. Look at that, you can probably see Dan's face in the gloss, can't you? Um, so, we really like the Elite series and cannot wait to try one in more depth in the store. Yes. I wonder if they'll let us play them. Do you reckon they might? Let's, let's try. Let's pause this video and go and see if there's a man playing one right now. They're as complete amateurs, they don't Pret know what they're doing. Pretenders. Yeah. Who are they? Honestly. So this, one, this guy definitely um, has I've no experience at all of his job whatsoever. Everything he says about being an editor of a guitar magazine, it's, it's all a lie. It's a complete lie. He's in, a, he's in his little own fantasy world. Yeah. But the multiple massively famous. <laughs> this, pops, this guy here, it's a fallacy. It's, a fallacy. it's, a, it's on Photoshop. I'm so naughty. Strap, by the way, that he's playing, so you are kind of hearing one right now. The guy playing, by the way, is head of Fender Hair Care and Turn Ups. <laughs> Naughty. He's very, very good, by the way. Monster, monster he's a guitar player. Good. Anyway, so these are brand new from Fender. All different. These are brand new from Fender. We totally crashed their video. Let's go this yeah, let's way. Get <laughs> so last year, Fender did something kind of cool, which they called Ten for Fifteen, which was you buy ten guitars, um, you get your fifteenth free. No, not exactly. Uh, but that would have been better. What they did was uh, every month for ten months, they made a limited run of five hundred guitars, and they called it Ten for Fifteen. Right. So this year we have the Magnificent Seven. So there are going to be seven different models of guitar. You can see the month that they're being manufactured here. Nice! And there are 500 of each. So if you see something as we're talking through them, you think, I really, really like that, the chances are Anderton is probably only going to be able to get, you know, three or four of them. That's so a really strange shape yeah. as well. Interesting So shapes. we have an American Elite Series Strat here, um, which looks pretty stunning. It's essentially the same as the guitar we just showed you, but with this kind of quilted or flame maple top on it. So not much to really tell you, you know, everything that we've just told you about the Elite Series, just in a fancy kind of looking one. It's quite nice though, isn't it? Have you got some nice sort of sexiness? Mm. Well, just you what holding make... it is the sexiness that's required. But flip it over again. Well, it's, it's not it's so sexy on, on the back. Polaroid on the back as well. See, it's kind of like, you know, it's, it's, it's like a... <laughs> you might need to bleep some of that. I'm so naughty. Um, oops. The entire part of everything so... you said. Then we have an American standard Telecaster. Oh, it's standard on American. In a very, very pretty. Uh, what do they call this? Like honey burst almost. I would it? call that honey burst. But on this one, the sexy flameness is a little bit understated, this one, but can you get that? There we go. Look. Well, that's not understated. Special edition badge on the headstock. Yeah. Look at that. And then if you, you know, so it's just a flame maple neck Telecaster. Yeah, but Very, yeah. very pretty. And that's coming in April. This is very interesting. This is the offset Telecaster made in July. Very strange shape to me, but I guess it's kind of a different kind of cool well, it's vibe. A, it's, I'm, I'm kind of surprised they call it an offset Telecaster, because to me it just looks like a Jaguar or a Jazz it does. kind of vibe. But with a heap of extra wood here, it's yeah. like, like a really massive, I suppose it's a Telecaster because of the, the pickup combination, but on a, like a some sort of freaky Jazz Master sort of body. Um, so, 
you know, these three different colours, sunburst blue, blue white, are coming in July. Uh, I can't remember pricing right now, but I know it's all on the Anderton's website, so I'll put a link in the description below and you can find out. It's all American product, so it's going to be probably thousand pound plus. This light and is amazing. Now, Fender do a guarantee on this that uh, the maximum weight of uh, any light ash telecaster is going to be seven pounds. So well, that's definitely under seven pounds. That's yeah. amazing. So any that they make that come out at over seven pounds, they'll just reject. So it's. Can uh, I sit on that ben chair bench stool and just play one note? Is that a, chair, a chair bench. I want to see how this float floats. It sounds great, man. Really, really good. You can so feel the cool. resonation. And I love that colour. I've always been a big fan of like, the ghost. 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 It's like a ghost yeah. white. It is really, really nice. Take uh, it away from me. That's coming in September. Uh, in May, if you like guitars with matching headstocks and Larry colours, you might like one of these. So that's a, a Telecaster in either surf green, white, or uh, Lake Placid blue. I think if I owned this, I'd no longer have the ability to see blue or green anymore. Uh, yeah, that's kind of a crazy colour, but it's got a matching headstock, so it's got a kind of a retro sort of 60s vibe to it. Um, these, I love. I'm going to try and order two. Big Speed Jazzmasters. What is not to like about a Jazzmaster? Well, it adds expressive shimmer to your playing. Does it? Is that what it says? I have no idea it what you're talking about. It says shimmer to my pen. <laughs> um, I, every year there's something in the, the, the limited range that Fender do that I think, oh yeah, that's it, nailed. Uh, this is my favourite. That's right up your alley, isn't it, to it's be honest? Complete, well, it's just because I just wouldn't have a guitar like that normally. You know, yeah. it's just a cool looking thing. So, some great colours, candy apple red, uh, I don't know what they call the turquoise, ocean turquoise. It's ocean it's turquoise, and that's white. And then, don't say we never do anything for bass players, uh, because there is also uh, a limited version of the uh, P bass, which, if I read off of here, What's it's a PJ bass. Oh, a PJ, okay, cool, yeah, so you've got the precision and the jazz bass. Is that the only thing that's different about it? Well, for tone and feel, it's the best of both worlds, Lee. <laughs> You're such a pro, Rob, honestly. <laughs> I can't so, spend that much time with you without becoming a pro at some point. So that's the Magnificent Seven, uh, which is a lot of fun. But now, Rob is going to tell you about something over here. There are two new... Well, it looks well, like they got signature oh. guitar for The Edge from U2 and <laughs> Jaime Hendrix. Jaime, he's one of these new kind of... <laughs> It is the legend. The legend that is. I, I got asked on stage on the tour that led me down to the NAMM show, uh, who's your favourite guitar player, Jimi Hendrix or Jimmy Page? And I went, I Jimi Hendrix. Hendrix. Well, I got, you asked me oh, as well. Okay. I said, Jimi Hendrix. It's a split thing. You either like Hendrix or you like Page. I was a Hendrix guy. Yeah, I like both. I yeah, love that this. That makes me weird. I think this is really cool. Because obviously he would have played it the other way, but they made you, allowed you to do the same thing if you're right handed. So they're not discriminating. Yeah, you can't take it off the wall. Well, no, it comes with the whole wall as well. <laughs> So you, you get the guitar and the wall involved. So it's kind of, it's kind of. So what they did on the Hendrix, the the only thing that is sort of nailed on is what they've done is they've reversed the angle that the bridge pickups at. The tremolo system and uh, and all the knobs and everything are kind of the wrong way round to, to be a proper Hendrix kind of thing. If that makes sense. I think a real shout out should be given though to the artist, whoever it was that made oh, this that's picture bad. From, from Plectrum. Oh, from Plectrum. It's absolutely that's astounding superb. work. And uh, Austin, if you're watching, man. You'd be proud of this. And if six was nine, then everything would be three pounds cheaper. Well, or, yeah, it would no, be. or whichever. Yeah. And then the Edge, of course, who, um, if you didn't know already, believe it or not, is actually a board member uh, for Fender. Now he sits on the on the Fender board wow. of directors. So of course, I suspect he's gone. I demand my own signature Strat. I don't think he has. Um, no, you're probably I think right. he deserves one. He does. He's a very influential guitar player. Um, and by the looks of things as well, and I don't know anything about this, there's an Edge guitar amplifier as well. I always thought it used Vox AC30. You know what, 16 year old Rob Chapman would have absolutely loved this and this. Yeah, you're not wrong. Because but when I found Joshua wouldn't Tree, have been able to afford it. You know, one of the first DVDs, uh, first VHS tapes I ever bought was Rattle and Hub. Really? Absolutely. Yeah, Joshua Tree was, I was one of the first albums I bought. I was obsessed with it. Awkward. We should go and see Joshua Tree. There is a tree apparently in Los Angeles somewhere called the Joshua Tree. And I got a friend called Josh as well. Does he own a tree? No, he does Bear Star Kung Fu. Weird. <laughs> 
<laughs> anyway, right. Um, Should okay. we just pan around and show them the rest of this beautiful room? Let's find Nick. Look yeah, at look, this, at this, this, look at this. Look at this. Now, I'm going to. Hey, buddy. As far as I understand, the idea is is that all the dealers are allowed in, and you go up and you look at these very limited sort of one-off guitars, and you go, "Oh, I'd like to buy that." So you put your card on it, but it would appear that Wildwood bought them all. Guitars has just bought every single guitar. Yeah, so, so well fair done, play. Wildwood. So if, if you live near Wildwood Music in America somewhere, they've then, got some uh, nice guitars yeah, coming. Do, do them things. Um, By the way, if you're watching these uh, video presentation and you're wondering how it's happening, well, it's because of Dan here. Dan is the guy who's filming. All of this for us. Oh, I was upside down then. Thank you, Dan. You're welcome. Hello. Hi. Um, How are you? I'm good. I'm feeling better. I've had the appropriate amount of coffee. I'm excited to check out the Charvels, to be honest. Emptied myself equally. I'm feeling lighter and, and better and less appropriate, but better to demonstrate. Back to you, Danage. That's absolutely it's stunning. It's very clever, isn't it? It's very, very clever. It's very, very clever. That's taken somebody a lot of time to think about. It's like frozen in time, isn't it? Exploded. You can actually see the noiseless pickup uh, construction that I was talking about, where they've got the sort of the, the split coils and, and the sort of the, the, the inserted bit in the middle. But uh, that was such a technical explanation. I impress myself sometimes. It's very cool. That's seriously cool. That took someone a long. I'm line up so that I can see it as it, as it's, as it is perfect. And if you if just hear it's like spot on, nuts on perfect. And then when you move and then when you, and then when you move it explodes. It's really cool. Really clever. Right. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's okay. That's all we need. Thank you very, very much. Cool.